What's going on, guys? Back on the video. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing the 20 NBA 2021 playoffs slash plan predictions. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use this pin right here too, and I'm gonna the this is how I'm gonna do it. The team that I cross off is the team that they am, is gonna lose. But if you guys don't already know, uh, the play-in tournament is uh, how it works. I'll tell you. So. First of all, the seventh and the eighth seed will play each other, and the winner of that game gets the seventh seed. And then the ninth and tenth seed will, will both play each other, and uh, the loser is out of the whole playoffs immediately. And the winner uh, gets to play the loser of the seventh, eighth, and whoever wins that gets the eighth seed. So again, the seventh, so like these two teams, these two teams would play each other. Let's say that Boston wins, Boston would get the seventh seed right here. And then uh, the then uh, Washington would go right here. Indiana and Charlotte. Let's say Charlotte wins. Charlotte would go right here. Indiana would be out. And and then uh, Washington would play Charlotte. And whoever won that would get the eight seed up here. So yeah, let's get started. I'm gonna start with the Eastern Conference with the ninth and tenth seed Indiana uh, Pacers and the Charlotte Hornets. I think that the Charlotte Hornets are gonna win this one. So I am gonna cross out Indiana. So I think Charlotte will win it, and and uh, then they will go right here. Uh, the, we'll put C H yeah, Okay, yeah. So Charlotte, will, will, my opinion, will move on there. And then Boston still looks in the Washington Wizards. I feel like this is a very close game, and it's closer than a lot of people would actually have it, but I still have the Boston – Celtics winning on, so I'm gonna put a check right next to the Boston Celtics, just so that it shows up they win, and then uh yeah, we'll put Boston right here. So B, B O S N O. Okay, yeah. Sorry if it's bad handwriting, but yeah, you get the point. And then um, then we're gonna have Washington right here. And between Washington and Charlotte, for that position, I think Washington is going to win. But I just they're really close in my opinion. But I just have Washington moving on, and they I have them as the eighth seed. Good sneak in for the Washington Wizards. Okay, and now we're going to move on to the. West for the playing tournament. In the Memphis Grizzlies and the San Antonio Spurs, both really good teams. Uh, Memphis Grizzlies, they have John Morant. He's been playing pretty good. They have a lot of good shooters. The Spurs have DeMar DeRozan, a lot of young people. It's basically an even now uh, matchup, and any team can win it depending on how the game goes. Personally, for me, I have the Memphis Grizzlies moving on over the San Antonio Spurs. But it, it could go either way, really. And then, uh, yeah, so Memphis will go right here. <laughs> Sorry. Is, I won't do this the whole the whole video, but there's Memphis. And then uh, Lakers and the Warriors. I have the Warriors winning. I mean, <laughs> I have Lakers winning, my bad, but not very much. I have the Lakers winning probably by, like, eight points or, like, five points. And then the Lakers will go as the seventh seed. And then we have the Warriors and Memphis Grizzlies. And that game, I feel like it's pretty close. Like, the, the Warriors got off to a bad start. The Memphis Grizzlies can win it. If the Chef Clay went off, the Warriors can win it. It really just depends on what happens at the beginning of the game or like what happens at the first. But I have the Golden State Warriors moving on as the So of course out this team and we'll cross out Charlotte because they're gonna be out. So I have the Golden State Warriors moving on. Uh, Golden State moving over uh, Memphis. So I'm gonna put G S W right there. Okay, now we get into the actual playoffs. And uh, I'm going to start off with the Eastern Conference again, and I'm going to start off with the 3-6 and six seed. So 3-6 and six seed, Milwaukee Bucks and the Miami Heat rematch from last year. Last year, the Miami Heat destroyed the Bucks, but Giannis wasn't playing his best, and he was injured for most of the season, most of the thing, I think. 
And uh, yeah, this year I have the Milwaukee Bucks winning over the Miami Heat. So the Miami Heat are gonna be a first round exit for me, even though they made it to the finals this year. They just doesn't it doesn't seem like they've had that much uh pl- like really good play going on this year as I, th- as I thought they would. But that's how it is for me. And then moving on to the West, I have Denver Nuggets or Sports Showways. I this is a very tight series for me, especially because Jamal Murray is injured. I feel like the Warriors was going to win. I feel like the Nuggets are going to win. I think like it's definitely going to go to a seven game series. And I actually have Denver Nuggets winning, but I don't think I was surprised. But I have them winning by like seven games, like a five point game. The very end. So yeah, and then uh, we have we're going to the four and five Los Angeles Clippers versus the Dallas Mavericks. I have the Los Angeles Clippers winning, but it's gonna be a pretty big fight like it was last year. I feel like Luka Doncic is just not ready just to. I mean, like he's really good player. I don't think he's ready to beat the Clippers though. They kind of got an unlucky match up there. If the Clippers would have won, they would have been able to play the Nuggets. I feel like that would have been a more easier win for them. But I feel like the Clippers are going to beat the Mavericks. And then for the fourth and fifth seed on the uh, Eastern Conference, you have the New York Knicks and Atlanta Hawks, which is really interesting because you already know that the New York Knicks and Atlanta Hawks are going to move on to the second round. That's what's just really crazy to think about. It. But, yeah, one of them is going to. I think it's a really tight series. New York Knicks, they have really good defense. Atlanta Hawks. Not really good on defense, but they're really good on offense. The New York Knicks, they're all okay on offense. I'm going to give it to the Atlanta Hawks in a seven-game series, though, because New York Knicks could still win this game, too. I just have the Atlanta Hawks upsetting them. And, yeah, and then um, let's see. Um, <clears throat> for the second and seventh seed in the, in, the, in the East, we have the Boston Celtics versus the Brooklyn Nets. I think the Brooklyn Nets are gonna win this game like five, win the series like five or six. They just have so much star power and Kevin Durant, James Harden, Kyrie Irving. So yeah, I'm gonna give it to the Brooklyn Nets there in the playoffs. And then uh, for the Phoenix Suns and the Los Angeles Lakers, both two really good teams. This is gonna be a battle. This is gonna be an, this is definitely going to a game seven for me. This is gonna be an absolute battle. LeBron is injured. And Anthony Davis, I mean, like, the Lakers, they're just in, very injured. I have it going to a seven-game series, though. And surprisingly, I have the Phoenix Suns. Might not be a surprise, but I have the Phoenix Suns beating the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round in a bit, probably a, an upset, because a lot of people think LeBron is actually going to be able to carry this year. But I have the – Suns beating them. So, so far, not a lot of upsets, only one, but now we're going to go to the first and the eighth seed. I have Utah Jazz beating the Warriors uh, in five or six games just because Mitchell might not be 100%, but I still think they can win it. But they, they did lose, like, two, I think they lost the series this year for the Warriors, so they still got to worry on that. Still got to play hard on that. And then you have the Washington uh, Wizards versus uh, Philadelphia 76ers. It's a good matchup, but again, I feel like the Philadelphia 76ers are going to win there. They just, uh, they're just a higher rank, and I think that Bradley Bill, uh, most of Westbrook, I, I just, they'll probably get it to a six, maybe even a seven game series, because I feel like the Wizards are kind of hot right now. But I will, uh, take in the, the Philadelphia semi-sixers over them. And then now, uh, now we just have these two going up against them, because they're right next to each other. And that, that, and that is actually how it is. And, uh, starting off with the East. You have the Brooklyn Nets versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Dang, I, I, it's definitely going to be a series. I have the Brooklyn Nets winning in seven games. It's this is going to be a very big, big, uh, very big. Uh, it's going to be a big series. There's going to be a lot of them this year, though. And then uh, moving on to the Denver Nuggets and the Phoenix Suns, pretty good. But at the end of the day, it's the Denver Nuggets do have Jamal Murray out. And I feel like that's going to hurt them. And Phoenix Suns are going to move on to the Western Conference Finals for the first time in a while. But at least the first time they get into the playoffs, in my opinion, they're, all, they're already going to the Conference Finals. And uh, then you have the the Philadelphia Sanders versus Atlanta Hawks. I feel like this is going to be probably more of an easier dub for the, the Philadelphia Sanders and they're probably with like six or five games. And yeah, and I have the Philadelphia Sixers versus the Brooklyn Nets in the conference 
finals in the East. And then in the conference finals of the well, not in the conference finals, but the semi-conference finals. You have the Utah Jazz versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Dang, I was one of the maddest Jazz fans out there when I found out that that the Clippers lost to the Thunder and that they got the fourth seed. Because they want to know why? Because I do not want to play an LA team at least until the conference finals. And now that we have to play the Clippers in the second round, in my opinion, I feel like that's going to be tough for us. But I do think that we're going to win this series in seven games. I have the Utah Jazz moving on. Call me... Call me a call me say whatever you want about that being messed up, but I feel like I feel like that's what happened. And there you have it: that top four teams in the league, well, record wise, like one, one, two, two, like literally. That might it's probably not going to happen because it usually doesn't happen. But we'll see how it goes. And then for the Brooklyn Nets and the Philadelphia Seventy Sixers, I have we go into a seven game series, but I have the Brooklyn Nets winning because again they have so much star power, bro. It's crazy how much star power they have. And then for the West, you have the Utah Jazz versus the Phoenix Suns. Again, this is going to be going to seven-game series. I can really see it going anyway. This is going to be a tough series. You've already seen the Jazz beat the Suns sometimes, and the Suns beat the Jazz sometimes. But in the end, the Suns <clears throat> doing very well this season. But I feel like the Utah Jazz are going to beat them in a seven-game series. But it can go either way, like, the Suns could beat the Jazz. I want to be surprised. Like these teams, they're very equal in terms of talent. I just have to give it to the Utah Jazz. And now, uh, in the finals, I have the Utah Jazz versus the Brooklyn Nets. And uh, yeah, here we go. First game, I have. First of all, I have this in a seven. I have this in a six or seven game series. But overall champion, my opinion of 2021, 20. 2020-2021 NBA season, I have. The Brooklyn Nets. Uh, as a Jazz fan, this hurts. This hurts so much. I don't want to get that far and not win it, but I have the Brooklyn Nets winning in... Uh, Winning in seven games, maybe, maybe even six, maybe five, if they if they really do destroy us. But overall champion, I have the Brooklyn Nets. I have them winning it all. But honestly, I could have set the Utah Jazz there. I probably would have gotten a lot more hate comments. But I honestly think that the Utah Jazz or the Seventy Sixers or the Lakers or the Clippers or the Suns they could all win it this year. Those are like my teams. That I think that that could actually help. That could actually win it. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That is all I have for the play, my playoff predictions and the playing tournament predictions. Thank you guys for watching. Please leave like and subscribe. And, yeah, bye.